Oh, they actually even changed the, like, left-hand bar for it. Ha. Uh. Which they didn't do for, for Zendikar or World Wake. Zendikar or World Wake don't get fanfare, but Rise gets fanfare. But Rise is the bad one, according to Wizards of the Coast mantra. Right. So Except whoever is in charge of, like, putting all the, all the stuff on, on Magic Online... They know that this is actually the good one, mm -hmm. which is what uh, always brings us back to it. Yep. And in uh, blue green, <laughs> ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was looking through like old drafts uh, yesterday, before, like after after looking at Tobal Field Deep, mm -hmm. like you know watching the Tobal Field Deep game. And I went back and watched the oldest Rise draft I could, and I. Uh, Blue green ramp. It's good. So, mm -hmm. ideally, we want to open something like Block Worm. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, then Ulmog's Crusher, which you can sometimes get two or three. Mm -hmm. And okay, honest to God, something that I actually want to want to draft. Yeah, what do you, what do you want to do is, on this one? Like we've done, we've done blue black tokens. We've done blue green ramp. We've done green red ramp. We've done green red defenders. We've done. <laughs> Um, green ramp into jank. We've even done like black ramp into what is that demon's name? Oh my god! Hell, hell carver, hell, hell carver. carver. Oh my Casting god! Casting multiple Eldrazi oh, off of it. <laughs> but what I really want to do is red white aggro with the um, the rebound spell that gives your creature immunity to stuff. Okay, I. Kind of a ta touching that, have we ever actually done a venerated teacher deck? I don't think so. Like, that would be kind like of at, Like cool at all? Too. I know that we've picked Mike Hagger first. Yeah, we've picked... I think, like, Mike Hagger and Brimstone Mage have been, like, first mm -hmm. picks. And we've played a lot of the blue leveler cards? Yeah. Have we... Okay, we... Like, have we... Basically, when I say a venerated teacher deck, I'm specifically more... Yeah, blue white teacher. Okay, we have done ex blue white teacher at least once. Gnome says, "I th at this point we've done so many rise drafts; they all kind of blend together in my head." <laughs> Which is why we get the amalgam of just like play blue, play blue green ramp. It's basically what you do. Yeah, it might, it might take a little bit for it to fire as well. Uh, I think the last time we did Rise was right before, um, yeah, it was right before Shadows over, uh, no, right before Eldritch Moon came out, and we just opened an Ember Cool. Ah, good God. And played Green Red Ramp with that Ember Cool. Did you ever cast it? Yes, multiple, Holy shit. multiple times. Holy shit, no way, it's 15? 15. We, we were nice. the deck played like three copies of Blue, Brood Birthing or something like that. It was the stupidest. The deck was Gross. really was really bad because all the good green ramp was taken up by the player we were lost to, who was just a green red ramp deck with all the good cards. Like, actually, no. I know what I want to do. Hmm. I, I actually know what I want to do with this. Okay. I want to open Gideon Jura. Ooh, <laughs> Gideon, eh? I know, someone's Matt guy heard me. Yeah, Matt and guy. They left. <laughs> well, no, we got oh, Gumby Dog. There's oh, Matt guy. Matt guy's back, okay. 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 Phew. Oof. Thank you for coming back, Matt guy. They just didn't want to be next to us, I guess. Yeah, they had to adjust. I don't know if that actually has anything to do with the draft seating. I feel confident I should it hope used to. I feel confident that in like the 2.5 client it used to. Like, I, I feel pretty confident that in the older clients it did, but I, I don't know if that was carried over. That's nuts. Do you think that... Do you think that's gameable? Like, could you, like, go down... Go take down a draft with you and, like, two buddies and intentionally, like, communicate <laughs> and pass each other good stuff? If, if it was like that, then yeah... Though, I mean, that was a program. That was back when it was, like, 2.5, so before there were good, like, 
I say good. Ah, uh, okay. I say good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue saying that. Before Skype was in the norm. I can't, I can't, uh, I, can't I can't, I can't, I can't actually. The problem was communication was difficult. I understand. Yeah. I, I'm sitting there like you, you I'm, I'm sitting here trying not to say good and Skype in the same sentence and I'm failing horribly. And here we are. But Gideon Juro would be a heck of an open. That would be pretty fun. I know we've opened a lot of the big bombos in this set. All right, uh, all right. What do we got? What do we got? Woo! Garbage! Woo! Oh, well, we got the lock room. I was looking at our mythic rare. Oh, God. Our, yeah, I was going to say, I saw the mythic rare, and it was like, oh, boy. We have, well, we have Palaka sign, though. There is there is Palaka worm. <laughs> of all the things I want to do, mm -hmm. which... In in my imagination, uh -huh. where we force red white aggression, we pick either Knight of Cliffhaven or Flame Slash, and I know that we've done like green ramp a billion times, but we just opened Flock well, Worm. Come on. Uh, yeah, I mean like Flock Worm's right here. Like Knight of Cliffhaven. Oh, hold on, hold on. Take take a look at that. Knight of Misaligned Haven. Yeah, like excuse me. Do you need some help with your like? CSS? Like, what's... Night, night of Missing Baseline. Like, what's going on? No, you remember when there when there, there suddenly was a lot of space between lines? Yeah. They really did rework, like, some of the text formatting. Yeah. And like... so levelers, I guess, lose out. Let's, let's pay attention to the next leveler that we see. Okay. Ah, Brimstone Mage, the, tra the Trap, Near-Death Experience, the Unplayable Card. <laughs> Um, <laughs> or a gnarly like there's no actual ramp pieces in here right? no like, not even bad ones could just demonic wall for like value town induced despair is like literally any removal spell of any speed well, that's what domestication's kind of for is the idea like it's a control magic it sort of is <laughs> It's generally a good enough control magic. It's often like remove a blocker. I've been I've been really underwhelmed with it. That said, I I don't think that there's anything really better than it. Right, like that's the thing. Like I get it's like that versus like Aura Narlid, right? Which is not congruous with the ramp plan. Sure, it and Palaka Worm are both green, but they may as well not be the same color. Yeah. We go with the alt win condition, uh huh, uh huh. Ooh, here we go. A couple. Okay, Spasm or Nandu Giant. Also, the dongler here. The missile line champion. So I, now the question here is actually which of these two is the stronger card? Like, Growth Spasm ramps quicker, like, by giving you the, that token, but for one more rather than having a token, you get, like, Power body. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, passing either one of these kind of sends a signal, which is the shame of it. Right, we can't cut it completely. How worthwhile is a 2 4 body? Frankly. Decent enough. Like. Hmm. Like, it's not unusable, but I'm going to go with the spasm over it. Mostly because yeah. it's the double ramp. Okay. Uh, oh, thank God. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. There's, there's Scorpion Fan Club. Uh, Snake Umbra is actually one of the better numbers yeah. you can get for the Orin Arla deck. Yeah. It's like, oh, it says draw a card on it. And this... Orin Arla has its own, like, janky um, evasion build kit. This yes, is a bit yes. late. They were kind of cutthroat. I, Super powerful. I, I, I just want to point it out. That's late. <laughs> like, that. that's... There are packs I first picked near kind of cutthroat. Yeah. But no, like, Nest Invader, I want to cut our plan off. 
And then we want to find not Hand of Emmercruel. Which is like, this is... We can, we can end up with a Crusher or two. Yeah, we'll find a Crusher. This that's, is... not, that's not too hard. One of the cool things is there's three full packs of this set. We, we, we don't have to, like, pick one, pick two. Wow, is this just an empty pack for everybody? Almost. Um, <laughs> they're, like, the, again, the red-white aggro deck can run Lone Missionary and sometimes raid Bombardment and not really look back. Um, Spore Cap Spider is not just a blank, and Ogre's Cleaver can be a kind of Eldrazi. Right. I think it's between those two. The, the the cleaver and the the spider. Of course, the cleaver goes better on like flyers and that kind of thing. But right. The flyers deck tends to have a little bit of a harder time ginning up the five mana to equip the goddamn thing. If I go ahead and grab the cut my color, like basically to try to send a signal and the hey, signal. There's a bridge unscathed too. Ah. <laughs> I don't think you're. I think you're looking for your deck that isn't actually I there. Am. Like, because I don't think I actually want to ever play Lone, Lone Missionary, even in that aggressive deck. I don't know what else I pick in here, though. Like Leaf Arrow, Shared Discovery. Shared Discovery gets like good if I actually have a thousand mm -hmm. Nest Invaders. That honestly looks like the only thing from this pack that could ever be good, unless you just want the Emerge Unscathed, and we can be Green White Ramp, which is, like, not a thing. But right. I don't care. It's not like Blue gives you any ramp pieces either. Tap down your team. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab the Shared Discovery and see if that actually plays out. No, it doesn't. Okay. I guess at this point I'm just gonna grab things that look fine. Things like Null Champion or Escape Null. Uh, you know, casting around for a second color. Yeah. Not that bad. Zulaport. Hey, maybe it's green black. And black has spawn token, so that's not a Yeah. It's not a blank the same way that some of the other colors would be. I think it's just blue and white really. Uh Totem armor is like real, so maybe naturalize. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm sitting here thinking about Dusk Imps, and this isn't really a format where I want to be Dusk Imping. Look at Glory Seeker. What is this format that no one can pick Glory Seeker? <laughs> is that Deprive to Battle Rattle? I know, I'm trying to find the second color, and it's not apparent yet, you know? Nope. Because, like, Battle Rattle's just fine as well. Yeah, Might of the Masses. Traitorous Instinct this late? Zulf Shade. I was gonna say, there's absolutely no way two brood birthings are a signal to be in red. That's 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 fake. Yeah, and it's good that we get three packs of this because each one is like half a pack. Yeah. <laughs> well, until we land in something, we're just not like, you know, we have we have three possible awakening zone. Is that or the Crusher? Yeah. Arrogant Bloodlord, what? Uh, if it ever fights something too weak, it just gives up. I would rather take my head than be thwarted by a wretch with a shield and a dream. Presumptuous wretch. Sure. They had to have the flavor text explain it, or else it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. If I pick up the yeah, Awakening think... Zone, like, that actually makes things like this a lot more realistic. Okay. Yeah, that pushes us further into blue-green, I guess. <laughs> we don't force it, I, I swear. 
<laughs> we opened the palaka worm. It's not on me. <laughs> also, I man, I would feel. Ulamog real... Crusher is also a common. Like yeah. Also, looking at this pack, man, I'm glad I'm not in the the like red white aggro deck with that pack. Mm -hmm. That's that's not a good pack. Now this is a much better pack for that for that deck specifically with uh, that sort of thing going on. Oust, knight, wild heart and Booker's Booker. okay. Yeah. I could just like heavy side audible and pick up Rapacious One. And be like, no, we're red now. Rapacious One is really powerful. But, you ever connect with that and you basically won the game. Yep. But uh, I mean, wild heart here is well enough a card to pick. Like, we want to run green just for Palaka. That we've got Awakening Zone, Growth Spasm, and Nest Invaders. kind of gravy. Mm -hmm. I don't think the Evolving Wild is a pick over Wild Heart and Joker. No way. Like, again, for, like, like make, <sighs> making sure the colors cut, and also this is so much more powerful than, like, Evolving Wilds. Mm -hmm. We're not like without fixing either. Holy crap! Crap! Um, I see. I see. Ah, there's the crush I know, here too. I know that th those are the two cards that immediately stood out to me. Heck, even Kabiria Vindicator with you know Awakening Zone it was the other was the third thing, but that's uh. This assassin is nuts. Let's let's pick the rare and try to be green black. Yeah, let's go ahead and set these off to the side. Man, passing their kind of cutthroat after all. <laughs> I know. That's what we get. Yeah, like the assassin is just this unreasonable card when it's on. Yeah, our blue is literally domestication or bust. Our black isn't like the best, most compelling thing either, but it does make use of our ramp. Like the yeah. level up stuff does make use of it. A Zulaport Enforcer can become unblockable. Yeah. Speaking of. Oh, then there's Enclave Cryptologist right here, which is <laughs> the, like the best blue level up card. Yep. It's crazy. Enforcer's fine, though. I don't, I don't think our blue is real. Also, green's gone. <laughs> so, hold on. He's, like, he's got the uh, can't be blocked except by black creatures. Yes. Yeah. So, if you're a black artifact, you can't block it. Devastating Summons was a deck for a time. That was really funny that you would... That was pretty exciting. Bushwhacker. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd float your... Pawn of Ulamog? I mean, that's a card I first picked. Yeah. So, so yeah. The, the thing I'm looking for here now, I think, is a copy of uh, Blood Throne. Like, a Blood Throne vampire would be really nice. There is somebody close to us that has a decent black deck, but apparently the cards are getting through anyway. Hey, Mike. Uh, we picked a, a block of worm first pick, and we're in green-black right now. Hmm. But yeah, like, just there's no green in here. There's still Knight of Cliffhaven. How many Zulaport Enforcers do I want to play? Well, what's a teacher doing here? Yeah, that's the, the other question. Also a Skywatcher Adept. I don't know what those two cards are still doing in the pack. In the sense that I thought that blue was getting a little more cut than that. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. That's really cool, uh, Steve. Mm. Uh, yeah, I I definitely remember that mono green deck in the in the in the last draft. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> You, yeah, you, where, like, every single creature was this gigantic threat. Yeah, it, it was... Which reminds me, we don't have any removal, mate. <laughs> We're in black without any removal. This is gonna I know, be I know, I know. We could have had... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull you back to, like, 17 picks ago or some nonsense, uh -huh. where I think we picked up domestication and we could have had induced despair, something like that. Yeah. Um... I still defend domestication but, uh, pretty heavily no, there. No, that's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> like, we didn't... That would have been our first black pick, and this is the ultimate like, looking in the past. It's, yeah. <laughs> I'm really like, oh, by the way, all your picks are wrong. I'm really happy with this combined with Awakening Zone. That's pretty good. That is kind of sweet. Uh, yeah, either Invoker or Dread Drone are playable. Also, like... Icky Outrider. Yeah. Frostwind Invoker is a gigantic fucking problem. But we have a Spore Cap Spider. We'll be able to block him. Yeah, we can block him. No offline. sweat. Um, we go with the Invoker. Oh, hey. We're in the right corner, <coughs> apparently. Yeah. I actually know if Escape Null is that good. Like, one, two, lifelink unblockable. You know, we don't have any way to pump him, which is, which makes it the real like question. I think it's better than the other cards in here. I really dislike Arrogant Bloodlord and Death Cultist is an obvious nothing. Yeah, I I grant you, like, but I kind of don't want to play. <laughs> oh, I, I, I yeah, can't can't disagree with you there. Uh, cost four. What is that? Stealing it. Oust. What? What is this? Guys, get out of here. Uh. <laughs> Death Cult is for the last point. Suffer! If only that, like, made Eldrazi spawn instead of gaining new life. Yeah. Can we splash oust? Uh. <laughs> Invincible is just a word. Hard up for <laughs> <gasps> no! Whoa! Hold on. I have read this story too recently for that one to slip past me. Uh, uh oh. Oh oh man, did they actually oh, just flat? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell me. Give me the magic story. Give me the magic story. Okay, okay. Gideon merely Gideon said indestructible. He did not say invincible. <laughs> so you're off the hook this time. Kithy and Eora. Uh, so uh I uh I could pick Pathraiser here. Well, it's um it's no hand of Emrakul. All right. Annihilator 3 is pretty good. What does it cost? 11? 11. Kind of a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of mana. I think, is that better than Cadaver Amp? I think so. Let's let's go ahead and pick it. Look, okay. we're hoping for Ulamog's Crusher, and Crusher will knock that right out. Um, oh! Oh! Look at this pack! Shit. And there's my Blood Throne Vampire, too. What? God damn it! Damn it this like is... all the okay, fine. All the cards. My card, my card, my card. I want. I, like, this is an absolute want. This is an absolute want. This is an absolute need. Is the problem. <laughs> so we we have to pick the corpse hatch. Uh, we don't have any removal. As you, as you brought Who up. Who needs removal, really? Well, this is removal and ramp at the same time. So. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I was gonna say the rare too is a uh, is oh man the rare is so good with awakening zone too, freaking hell. So I get an answer is an acceptable Ulamog's crusher. Right. Well, it, 
it's even more when we actually have awakening zones. So. No, I would. <laughs> PSN Striker asks, "Is there like a, a straight bad card in here?" Yes. Um, Repel the darkness is pretty bad. Uh, we're gonna call Ellen Umbra almost that. It's like super marginal. But uh, okay. And nothing. Got it. Yeah, now we're back to. I, I figured we'd get all our okay. cards in the one pack. I guess we could pick that's, up like that's... Praise Vengeance. We could we'd like because combat tricks are how you win this format, right? Um... Absent of any, like literally any removal spell, I think we might have to go for that. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. We're not running here. Discover- <laughs> <laughs> we're not suddenly a blue deck that has a bunch of spawn tokens to use. Use a shared discovery to just draw extra cards. I, you, you have this idea that I'm somehow splashing a pile of shared discoveries, and I don't know. Well, I mean, the the allure of a spell that says draw three, three cards, cards on it is yeah. really strong. I understand. That's fair, especially for blue. I get, I get it. One blue. I do like that Praise Vengeance displays an obvious Baloth and then some other kind of creature that we've never seen. Mm-hmm. As if it's supposed to be tiny to begin with, and it's like, no, oh, I'm huge. Like, we didn't see the prey, and that's, yeah! Oh, my heart. Oh, man, Predator. We're passing up yet yet another first pick. You know, Last Kiss is, is basically removal. I know. Ish. Almost. Printed in Guild Pact. Mm-hmm. Brought back here for some reason. So it can sit next to um, Stagger Shock and look pathetic. I feel like the Predator is better because we don't actually have this gigantic... Like, this isn't ramping into anything but Pathraiser. So it's a, it's a draw spell, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think Kiss is that bad. There are a lot of little creatures that you want to sweep out of the way, and it gains you life while that happens. True. Oh man. Hmm. The Aura Narlid stuff is here. Boar Umbra. Yeah. Yeesh. Like what? Boar Umbra on Azulaport Enforcer. I mean, Boar Umbra is, is the pick for us over Aura Narlid. One hundred. Curse of Wizardry is not even a real card. <laughs> Why did they print so much garbage in this set? I watched. <laughs> I watched somebody lose to this card one time in the history of Magic. They tried to play through it, and then they got to one life and could no longer play through it. Yeah, the Boar Umbra is the one that sticks out very easily to me. Oh, of course. yeah, Mr. Green Deck telling us to play Boar Umbra. Okay. <laughs> I can't... Wait, something to finally make escaped dull worthwhile? Mm-hmm. Oh, thank God. And then we get a late crusher? What is this? Stagger Shock is still here next to Kiln Fiend? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> My guns. Why is this such a thrill ride? <laughs> nah, nah, you're good. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not. We're not. <laughs> I'm not trying to give you any beef. I'm, just, I'm, say, I'm saying that if we trust that, it, it fits. It's a good card. It's, I think it's first pick material, honestly. Like Boar yeah. Umbra is is really, really huge. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Crusher is 100 percent what I'm here for. Uh, this makes me feel a little better about having some top end to go with our like ramp that exists. Uh, I'm not. Oh, Our two invokers are sort of like side end. What is? What is this pack? Oh, well, un- Enclave Cryptologist is really good. We can't pick it. Prism is fine. What does Keening Stone do? Uh, six to play, five to activate. Mill X oh. where X is the cards in their grave. So you have to activate that like twice, right? Basically. Is that better than really good fixing? Probably not. Like, Palaka Worm is triple green. I'm going to pick the Prism. Okay. I thought about that really hard. Hey, you like vanilla lizards? 
We got some vanilla lizards and some crabs. You like vanilla? <laughs> I sure do like creatures without text. Yeah, stone would have get would get me wins from nowhere. Um, I, there's no way the stone tables. Yeah, after all, someone passed Ulamog's Crusher, right? They're going to need some kind of top end. There, I was talking up Snake Umber earlier. Yeah, I'm willing to play so it. So we're also like, oh my god, we're like half an Aura Narla deck at this point. Without Aura Narlins. <laughs> Wait, three Zula Board Enforcers, three Dull Champions. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I'm completely invincible. <laughs> <laughs> we, cannot, we cannot be vinced. Yeah, like Stone was more fun. Yeah, I was gonna say Stone was <laughs> Stone definitely would have been the more fun card. Uh, can't disagree with that, and uh, that was why I was thinking between the two. Yeah, what, yeah. What's our conspiracies? Uh huh. Uh, okay, let's. Yeah, our con our conspiracy is that there's two of us talking about t to each other about this, mm. and there always is, which is why if you if you played against us, it seemed like we were like going to time a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's us bickering with each other about what yep. the plays are. <laughs> Uh, yeah, said we only got one Nest Invader. That's true, but we did get, uh... <laughs> I was like, well, it's over. Well... We already lost. Flash forward uh, several hours. Here we are. Good luck with that Cascat. <laughs> he got the stone. <laughs> we got all sorts of magic pl people in the, in the zoo today. It's great. Okay, we kind of need to make... <laughs> Five cuts, give or take. Well, we have a lot of multiples and yeah. I was gonna say like we. I think we can just tr trim numbers, trim numbers, trim numbers. That's the easy do, and then spider umbra. Like I'm fine with boar umbra and snake umbra, but spider umbra like. Like snake umbra can draw you a card right away. Boar umbra is like the largest thing ever. It's nuts. Am I willing to keep escape null? Uh, what the it's... two ways to pump it? Hey, wait, praise vengeance, yeah. <laughs> Three ways to pump it. You know, no, 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 no. Okay, I I sold escape null a little short. Sitting it back on defense can also be like a thing. That's why I like escape null. Lux or become the well. That's why he costs four mana instead of like two. All right. I have this thing where I really like the the big lifelink creatures swing like homicidal seclusion slash uh oh god there's a card that's the exact same card but reprinted right. in a different set uh it gave death touch that sort of thing it was always a really fun uh, what, deck what was, what was it called um <laughs> shit can't, I can't remember the name of my end cards hold on I'm looking this up yeah look it up it's fine yeah, I was gonna say like Escape Null is the one that I think is on the the is that's why I'm talking about Escape Null here is because I think it's actually the card on the uh on the edge here. Mostly, I don't think there's anything else that even comes close to like on the edge like it. Four overgrown battlements, Cascat. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a good time. You, you just gotta play your top end. It's gonna be really good. Yeah, I guess, yeah, Zoff Shade. Well, here's the thing. Zoff Shade is a, a shade that, uh, is the shade that's fine if I'm light black, you know? Because I only need one of every three of my lands to be black, and I have Prophetic Prism as well. Yeah, well, my mana sinks late are like I have some levelers and I have Wildheart Invoker and Bloodright Invoker. I have a couple invokers for swing for for sinks, so I'm feeling like I'm okay on sinks. Cascad, I, I I hope we get to play because that sounds exciting. To just get the, the <laughs> that sounds incredible. <laughs> 
All right, probably should look in black. Oh, wait, no, sort by type, duh. It's way easier. So, one thing that I guess one w- one reason we can cut the escape null. There we go. Pr- cruel promise. That's what. Uh. That's what we did. Ended up being cold. <clears throat> One reason we probably can cut the escape null is that we still have other sources of life gain. We have Palaka Worm and Blood Raid. So we're not without life gain sources, which is an important thing, right? That's, that's... Yeah, like I. Almost all the decks that we go to three wins with in these have some kind of life gain in them to. Like tilt the balance. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna... behind, be a surprise. I'm going to go with that, and then I think it's going to be a 10-7 split. Uh, Pathraiser. Hold hold on. Excuse me, Pathraiser. What? He's a black card. What? I'm black. I'm completely a black card. Can't you tell? (laughs) What is this magic on? What the hell? What the hell? Look. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know how to explain this in a way that the card isn't already explaining. Eight, clearly colorless. Eleven, mm-hmm. black monosymbol black mono in there. there. There's a, there's a, can't you see the skull up in the corner? There's a skull hidden somewhere, <laughs> right? Yeah, the ultra menace. Mega menacing. Uh, oh, menace two. Menace two. All right. Uh, yeah. Eight nine ten seven. Eight nine ten seven. Palaka worm. <laughs> I, I I see that, but I All also of our s- ramp. But I also see that every single one of our one and two drops is like Azul Import Enforcer and old. That's kind of true. Like maybe eight nine is fine. The big trick there is we do still have. Prophetic Prism and Growth Spasm in the deck. Okay, one one last consideration. Okay. Is Null Champion actually that much better than Zulaport Enforcer that we would rather run two of each? Or could we cut a Null Champion for yet another Zulaport? You know what? That's actually probably just... This card is just flat. This the strong... Like, this doesn't get through. It's just a... This is a, an abyss, right? Like, that's what this does. But, right. so, but sometimes in this format, the right. abyss... Right, abyss is not that great in the format of, like, I make four spawn tokens. <laughs> like... Yeah, well, lands are colorless. The, the, it, I, I told it to sort by color, and lands have no color. Excuse me, sir. Last time around, the, the program said mountain is red. <laughs> that was a teaching moment. It, it was. It did say mountain is red. It it also told me that for, it did tell me that forest is green as well when I was getting the shit kicked out of me by a Zendikon. Um I remember that pretty distinctly. Mm-hmm. Plains is green. Yeah, that's true. Plains is mm. also green. Plains is green. This is confu- it's confusing. Yeah, like, the rules are not consistent. <laughs> but what the program tells us is what we abide. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and rock this. I'm excited. I'm excited to be back in one of my favorite formats, you know? It's it's just I'm also excited to be back with one of my favorite uh, I'm glad we finally did not do green blue ramp. I mean, we're green ramp because yeah. it's obvious. And I think it was very correct to move out of it. Like, even with, like, the couple of Enclave Cryptologists we saw, like, the blue was still open enough to play, but not... Yeah, like, instead of Zula Board Enforces, we would have ended up with um, the little Flying Man. Yeah. He's not, like, he's not a blank. We might have had a Venerated Teacher. Hmm. <laughs> no, Mitten is quite correct. We are going to play until we... Play Palaka. <laughs> it's like that was all of them, right? We were like constantly searching for Palaka Worm. We right. Never find it. Like the first couple Rise drafts we played, we played Palaka Worm a, a lot. Like the first like two or three. And then like the next like ten, it was just gone. Anyway, I would like to play first. <laughs> um. Well, it has Awakening Zone. It does. That's something. How long does Awakening Zone have to sit there before I can play Pathraiser? Eight turns? 
I mean, I can just trump block with Awakening Zone until I die. Right? It's not like, okay, look, we have our one removal spell. So really, <laughs> its hand is like primo. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's just draw in let's just keep this and draw into like prophetic prism on two. It'll be fine. That'd be pretty sweet. But this hey, is... Zulaport doesn't even require uh black mono to level up. Yeah. This is I, I'm first I'm, place, but I'm gonna let you make sure that everyone is aware. This ain't the best keep. This is I'm gonna I'm making a hand motion right now. You probably can't see it. I I assume you can't see it. You How many crushers? Uh, one. one. Three if you count Pathraiser Path of Ulamog and Palaka Worm as Ulamog's crushers. Yeah. <laughs> right, Swamp, 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 swamp Palaka Palaka Worm. Worm. Yeah. No problem. I would be all... I would be super happy about no, that. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Here's what we do. We play nothing until Awakening Zone mm -hmm. and then stare at our opponent with our powerful card and they'll just be like, concede. Like, right there. I'd be like, I can't beat Awakening Zone. And that's how God. we win. Just play a three mana enchantment that says you win the game. It's, it's strong. Man, I've played I, I've played with uh, From Beyond a little more recently than Awakening. Oh, like, I think both of them. Like, From Beyond is like Awakening Zone, but ridiculous. <laughs> the it's, it's, it's the format From of Beyond. it. From Beyond. Yeah. It, Devoid. This card has no color. Uh huh. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's disgusting. Also, it has additional text past just making one ones. <laughs> oh, I like how it has basically pre errata. <laughs> because from beyond has the number one on it, which is no longer correct. Uh huh. I. That was maybe my biggest thing about Diamond Mana that I disliked was that they decided to do it halfway through the block, which meant that you would draft and you would have, like, the same card, but one of them would have Diamond Mana and one of them wouldn't. Like, oh, well, this spawn token doesn't make Diamond Mana. It's just like, oh, my God. Mm. I mean, I've learned to hate that format forever because it had Core Haven in it somehow. Oh, my God. I'm... I... Which was... Like the most gigantic horseshit. Ever. I, I, I just have. I will never forget my memory of turning to my right and looking at your game and being like, like looking down and I'm like, what the hell is that land over there? Oh God! There's nothing I, I can you do. You guys were joking about having strip mine. <laughs> the format. It's like, oh, just draw a strip mine, and I'm like, ha ha, ha, ha okay. Ha, just ha, ha. And then someone had strip mine. <laughs> well. Obviously, you should have had strip mine for the core haven. Oh for yeah, the, for, the right, core right, haven. for the core haven. Yep. God. I should also have drawn, drawn a, a yeah. foil mythic treasure. God. Okay. Okay. More of the specifics of the story. <laughs> um, we were at a a team Grand sealed Prix. event mm -hmm. at the Grand Prix, and uh, you know they give you a, a shared pool and you build three decks and then you play games against one opponent on the same team and like you play like a regular match and whoever's best of three matches as a team goes on and like we got to a round the last round frankly pretty sure of it that was the last any kind of energy for that, that was we dropped after this round mm -hmm. and my opponent had core haven just straight up they had they had printed like special fancy lands from yesteryear. Okay, we're getting crushed, excellent. Mm -hmm. And um, Core Haven was among them. That Core Haven gained them the equivalent of like fifty life over the course of the one game where where they played and had it. And then they had it the next that's, game. That was too. So they had it both games, right? And uh, yeah, I didn't have the tools to to fight that. Like our pool out of our, tw out of our packs had zero land destruction spells or ways to deal with it. So it was just like, Oh, a core Haven. Well, whereas know. here we're getting wrecked on our own merits. Oh yeah. I we, we had one obvious decision to make and We just didn't do it. So that's, that's fine. Oh, sweet. Okay. I'm, I'm happy about prophetic prison. Instead of level up my guy. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the equivalent of past the turn, you know? Oh my god. 
Yeah, Snake Umbra on my Eldrazi spawn. <laughs> um, I really want Horseshoe Crab to be reprinted in the upcoming set so that you can just have this crab pilot six vehicles. <laughs> We just have this this crab who is the best driver. Oh man, they're out of lands. No way. That's they just good. haven't played one yet. Wow, but, they are a control deck through and through. If this is their sort of setup, which means I'm happy to have Awakening Zone hanging out. Uh, always yes, and always yield. Yeah, like our deck knows that we want to ramp one land a turn <laughs> of of the green variety. I will play that Snake Umbra on an Eldrazi spawn. I swear to God, Let's draw a card. Hell yes! Oh no, the splash! Ooh, please level it up one more time. Yeah. Okay, so now it's on draw. They have just draw a card set up. Can we draw Palaka? Alright, so Snake Umbra on this one. Did they switch places? That's They did. They they did the, uh, did they the classic Hearthstone when did... Rochambeau. Why am I getting Hearthstoned here? Don't, <laughs> don't do know. that. Don't do that to Adjacency me. Adjacency is really important. Anyway, we do this before this is really silly. Yeah! Check out my Enclave Cryptologist! I draw a card every turn, too! Ophidian Squire. I mean, they're not going to block the thing. That right. Be that's, that's, I get my card. Yes, I'd like to use Eldrazi Spawn Token's ability. Ooh. Oh, crap. A better target. <laughs> Although, I shouldn't be mad. That is hella yeah. good with Awakening Zone. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm really happy to just have that right now. Because I can play it. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Ah, they activated their level up ability. I'm glad to see that that bug is still around. Yeah, that bug will never I, get I fixed. I missed that. <laughs> Remember when uh, Ghoul Dress Assassin leveled up at us a couple times and our creature just died? <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. We got like, come on, last kiss, my bramble snap. Yo! <laughs> Alamar Wave Watch. Yeah, that's the, the 03 blocker that becomes this big old island walker, which doesn't matter because we can chump block it for six years. Uh, could we tap two guys to make that fail? Well, it's, it, he's targeting... Uh, oh. oh, 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 he's ta targeting the spawn. Yeah, because he knows it's fa it would fail on Bramble Snap. Right, right. okay. So he's just that saying goodbye to Snake Umbra. So. Yep, that is a way to do it. Totem armor be damned. Yeah, I'll I'll let it show off that totem armor doesn't work on it. I guess I could have shown off that totem armor also doesn't work on sack abilities because they they're, that's true on both. <laughs> wow, that would be something. You yeah. sacrifice the creature and it just stays around. Yeah. <laughs> sacrifice the creature becomes sacrifice the the totem. So then we're playing hell of our wave watch here. I guess I get in there with Bramble Snap. <laughs> Works for me. How much do I want to pump that? How many levels before that thing can actually attack? Five. Ten total mana. Ten mana. There's no way. Yeah, I've... I guess what kill spells can he play on it other than, like, Induce Despair or, like, Last Kiss? Everything else just, like, kills it flat, right? 
Well, we have Praise Vengeance to counter either of those. Yeah, let's just do so it. So I say just, yeah, go ahead and carefully do this because we might accidentally sack it. Yeah, you gotta... I know I've done that before. Let's get our damage in before this is an 06. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, someday we'll get to Pathraiser of Little Mog Mana. Or someday I'll find a swamp and Zooport and Force against to come down and start wrecking that place. Oh, did you fail to draw a card there? They did. They did. We tricked them with our waiting. Yeah. Sweet. All part of the strategy. All right, so Drana, this is... Uh, oh, okay, narcolepsy. Sure, whatever. Narcolepsy is a card that we didn't see, and that's probably why we're not we, in blue. We did. I think it was in, like, the same pack as one of our really important ramp cards. I think it was in the Ondu Giant Growth Spasm pack. Prophetic was... Prism 3, huh? Mm -hmm. How deep is our Do, opponent? Does your deck contain cards, though? Like They're drawing cards. I don't believe they draw any good cards anymore. Like The deck must have, like, four real cards, and that's it. <laughs> Holy crap. Send help. Okay, so here's the cool so thing. So what, what, what we're saying is we need to kill Halimar Watch, right? It's like yeah. The only threat they have. Well, even that, that's not a threat, though. That can't hit us. Like, we can never take damage from can, Hellmore Wave Watch. I can yeah, jump we, block we can it. block one creature a turn, I guess. Yeah, we can block one creature every turn for the rest of the game. Also, I guess our opponent could literally be any color. Haha! <laughs> I'm slightly larger. You can't hurt me. Haha! <laughs> it becomes slightly larger every turn and then fall asleep. Or we could just cast Ulamog's Crusher while they have no mana. <laughs> I mean, you just... Sorry, Pathraiser of Ulamog. They did just spend a Narcolepsy. Hopefully that means they don't have anything else. I mean, they they could have Repel. Or is it Repel? Regress. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Regress the Darkness. Waiting for eight costs. I assume this is a narc. It's mm -hmm. a good one. So naturalize, huh? Thanks. Oh god, I was kidding. I was literally oh. kidding when I said drawn a three turns ago. Nice. That's so good. So I, I figured yeah. out. I, I, fig I figured out our opponent's deck. They have four good cards. <laughs> They're trying to draw their good cards as much as possible. Like th that was what I was saying earlier was that their deck doesn't uh... contain quantity. It's Quality. Also, we can't kill that. So, I, I'd like to introduce you yet again to uh, the ruler of Rise of the Eldrazi, the the, the queen, Drana. Yep. Call the lady of the circle. Mm -hmm. You you do not win against that card. Anyway, yeah, that that's literally our opponent's deck. Is they are cycling until they hit Drana. Uh, Non-black. Drana's immune to every removal spell in this format. <laughs> Except for Flame Slash and Heat Ray. That's part of her power. Yep. Even Leaf Era doesn't do it. Nope. It's really a shame. Ah, yes. They don't know our second color. It's true. They could be watching, though. Everybody was watching the stream, apparently. Apparently. Barrel stab gets slightly larger, yeah. Okay, cool, sweet. I'm gonna keep playing so I can try to see some more cards out of our opponent. But no, th this is uh, this is strong. It makes a lot of sense though. This this really kind of I mean that's the solution to the mystery of why is my opponent cycling sixteen cards. <laughs> I know McSubtle is Lacanon, and also all of my other <laughs> opponents. Shit, shit. <laughs> so we don't have a way to beat that. Oh, what are you playing now? A, new, a Crusher? I think it's just activating Drana and killing us more quickly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Naturalize is coming in. 
Holy shit. Welcome to the Eldrazi Conscription. I don't think, I don't know if we've actually got to see this in a long time uh, in in the format. That, that rules. Yeah, well, that was the, the, the side banner art. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. We we are dead immediately. Oh, level up two. <laughs> they, they activated their level up uh, two ability at us. Wait, wait. They, they can, hold on. So what does level up two do? It Holy... makes you sacrifice two permanents. Wait, so they like just pay two mana and then they sack two permanents. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, the... the Eldrazi Conscription was a pretty powerful standard deck off of the Souls of a, uh, what was it? Souls of Lost Alara. Mm. It was it was a Sovereigns. Sovereigns. Sovereigns of Lost Alara. Yeah, Sovereigns of Lost yeah. Alara. It has trample, trump blocking. It doesn't work. Yeah, Sovereigns of Lost Alara, uh, which was a oh, wow. <laughs> Locker. Anyway, uh, we're not getting to see another card, so let's move on. So the combination of Spore Cap Spider and Leaf Arrow could possibly, but they have modded it to like right. Uh huh. Fascinating. Well, naturalizes in one hundred percent. Eldrazi Conscription exists, so. Um. Did we even get a Leaf Arrow? Would no. Spider Umbra be good enough? Uh, that's. We we just need them to not have Drana. Basically. Kind of, I don't even know if I want Spore Cap. I probably want Spore Cap Spider. Here's a plan draw Swamp. Yeah, okay, that's a good plan. Actually be able to cast my Zulaport Enforcers and try to race them rather than give them all the time in the world. Um, took out like exhaust shade. Uh, let's let's go. But yeah, so th it was a standard deck that you never actually cast Eldrazi Conscription. You just got to put it in play from your deck for free off of an exalted trigger. All right, <laughs> I'm in. Planes and housed. <laughs> if we have a way to fetch it. I like I like just the run them down plan. Might end up naturalizing a narcolepsy. Yeah. I think Borumber is fine here. I want to be shoot a... up your trampler and get going. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if it's better to put it on Zulaport or Bramble Snap. Like Bramble Snap is trampler, but it's also like a non. It's not a black creature, so it's not like immune to Vendetta. I don't. Our opponent hasn't shown Vendetta, mm -hmm, so like mm -hmm. that's not like a. I'm I'm considering things that may not happen. Oh well, now I know which one I'm putting on. On. Uh, Good work. Thank you for solving <laughs> our, that our crisis. Shows for it. Yeah, thanks for solving that crisis for me. I was really having a bit of a, you know, back and forth under what I if I wanted to. You're really vacillating about that. Yeah. One, but you, uh, you you solved it. Thank you. Next turn, we can even level the guy up. Yep. <sighs> Crushing! Oh, it updates all of his uh, levels. Look at that. It's nice. <laughs> Who knows what this guy's power mm. and toughness is? Yep, yep, and here our opponent's going to be cycling cards for the next six years until they find something real. Okay, yep. <laughs> That's basically a real card. Might not get to Crusher Town. Da -da. Uh oh, what's the uh -oh. dog gotten into? Uh oh. Dog is. I don't know what dog is doing. Dog's just walking around. Oh, she's trying to get human food. Oh no. Oh, that is. It is about time to feed the dog, though. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's time to feed the dog. Yeah, okay, talk. well, how about you roundly smash this person? Let's see what I can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed the dog. I'll be right back. All right. Hmm. So I'm going to attack with Zulaport Enforcer here, put my opponent to three, and then play second Zulaport. Not, not actually going to cast Prophetic Prism because I want to be able to stop a Narcolepsy. Red. So I see a mountain. Yeah, our opponent's playing Induced Despair uh, to kill off our Zulaport that I played down. Okay. That's fine. I don't see a way around that. Yeah. Luckily, this was like... F he gave it minus five, minus five off of Frostwind. Frostwind. That's not enough to kill this. BB. BB. It's time to it's time to leave the cat alone, honey. Okay. Like every other hour of the day. Okay. Do I want to naturalize that Bramble Snap? Like the narcolepsy there. To get one additional damage? Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's not really... Like, if we already had Awakening Zone down or something, then I would say yeah, but... Okay, I'm... As it stands, I think we can, we can wait on that. Ooh. So, let's go ahead and... Continue getting in with Zulaport Enforcer. Oh god, they're at three? Yeah! Ah, uh, I better understand the question that you were asking. I'm <laughs> sorry. It was, yeah, I was, I, was, I was specifically more asking if it was worth going ahead and, like, putting my opponent to literal one here, but... Yeah, clearly I am incorrect. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, well, you can still do that during... Now the trigger will still trigger happen. Trigger will still happen. Oh, no, see, here's the... Ah, th okay. Cool. Cadaver Imp. Oh, no, a blocker. Oh, dear. And two blockers, actually. Look at that. Yeah, they're going to have two blockers. Uh, I think EOT undo a narcolepsy is still the play. Right. Which one? Um, good question. Still thinking it's probably this one. Yeah. Bramble Snap can become, what, a 3-3? Three, three? I'd have to sack the Eldrazi spawn to do this. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's make it the one on Zulaport Enforcer. But yeah, Bramble Snap does have its own trample. Right. That's, that's kind of, that's kind of its, its power here. Yeah, let's 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 let all this happen first. Right. I mean, yeah. In any scenario, we're letting the imp resolve because that's obviously their play. Mm -hmm. So if I if I ba basically if I go ahead and undo the narcolepsy on uh, Zulaport Enforcer, I have the abyss. If I God, there's a couple draws that Bramble Snap just wins me the game on too. Uh, let's make it that. Draw like Nest Invader. We'll do fine. Enclave Cryptologist doesn't have power, so it's not like we're in in any actual danger. We have to like tap carefully and at correct times, but yeah, you okay. Right, the Intimidate is not happening for for a while. The the Abyss would kill our opponent before being able to get the Intimidate down. Uh, 
I'm gonna do it this way. Careful tapping. Okay. Yeah. And then... Oh, we have multiple draws this turn. Oh, actually. here we go. Mm, victory. That's the card we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> See, By the way, three dudes. <laughs> yeah. So the, the trick is, I think we had like four, like we had four cards that were just like Nest Invader does that, you know, that sort right. of thing. And that's just why I, that's why I chose Bramble Snap there. I, I'm going for the immediate victory. So Bramble Snap in... Rushing. He Sorry. has trample. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. I think this but is where our opponent learns that Bramble Snap has trample. trample. Yeah. Okay. All right. So <laughs> run, running down our opponent is a legitimate plan. We can actually pull that off. So does that mean Spore Cap Spider does come out? Because that's not on plan. Yeah. And like. Zoth Shade comes in. Or like, God, that sounds weird. Yeah, we're Null Champion. Is that better than Zoth Shade? Wait, what does Living Destiny do? Gain life equal to the mana cost of the creature you reveal. And you get put into the green tornado. Yeah, okay. You go... <laughs> <laughs> the green drill envelops you. Yeah. and You understand your own destiny. This is like a save point. Is that how you gain all that? Dreadful. Um, this card sucks, but it's like a burn spell. Oh, oh. right, right, right. We can, um, we can pants them when they go for their cadaver imp. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Let's let's like get Gouldraw's assassin. Gouldraw's assassin's, by the way, the only way we can kill Drana. <laughs> it is minus four, <laughs> minus four. It does work. Cool. Cool draws. Do we aggressively mulligan to something like that? Oh, let me tell you about aggressively mulliganing. We're, we're not keeping this. If that Zulaport were Gouldress Assassin, would you keep it? Yeah. Okay. Like so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't think we can keep that. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I remember losing to this card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think our opponent has a real way to remove it. The beautiful part is narcolepsy doesn't work. It so, doesn't stop level up, and it doesn't stop him from nugging a creature. Yeah. So, the reason I'm attacking before leveling here is because it's on level 2 that it gets power and toughness. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. How did we become a black deck? <laughs> Still no Enclave Cryptologist. Okay. That's pretty good for us. Well, actually, no, this is second main. Sorry, I thought they had. There we go. Uh, can Gouldrez kill Drana at full level? Yes. Um, yes, it can. Let's get in. I, I don't <laughs> need more than one card. <laughs> I don't even need more land. Like, I, 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 These cards please, will do fine. Pl please give me a swamp. Please allow me to draw a swamp and like Snake Umbra mm -hmm. on this too. It'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, narcolepsy doesn't stop it. However, the thing that does stop it is that minus X spell, the induced oh, despair. Man. Luckily, they didn't just slam it down. So I'm gonna Snake Umbra here. Cool. So either we. 
take their guy or they give us a card. Yes, that's the idea behind the attack. They assu I assume they're giving us a card because this is an 06 blocker. Level up! Ah, now we get to level up. Use Guldrow's Assassin's Ability, yes. I will, I will level up. Oh, okay. okay, fine. We need another black source. Seriously. Two levels of deterrent would be crazy. Or even just like a level in the ability to use its minus would be really what I'm looking for. I want to get this to 5-5 five, five so that's safer from things. Okay, we can't attack into that anymore. That's fair. But yeah, second swamp is what I want. Or you could attack. No, we can't. Swim. No, that's not enough. Do I want to keep... I think I want to keep leveling this, though. Like, I need to get this to, to killing Drana levels, you know? Yep. It's the most important thing this card has. Oh, man. Praise Vengeance might actually save us from an induce. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. There's the idea. Okay, so this is... I could just play their guy? Okay. They spent black mana on that. Uh, holding up... Counters? What's it called? There is a counter spell. Right? What is yeah. it called? Deprive? I'm gonna go ahead and play Null Champion and see what happens. Are they gonna deprive us of our Null Champion? That sounds sad. Yes, they are. That's why I played. Amazing. That's why I played Null Champion, because <laughs> it was the least uh, relevant card to me. Okay, we're here. We have an answer to Drana. We can fight now. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Do We're I gonna walk on our islands? Do I attack into that? For a possibility of taking it out with praise vengeance? Yeah. And then, like, uh, I just spam if he the board. Doesn't block. We we draw a card. Right, and then I just and, <laughs> and I just spam the board too. Like, yeah. We could also level up our guy even more. <laughs> you know, that's a thing we can possibly spend mana on. Okay, cool. So that mana investment you made is a uh, null and void. Did you not read his type line? It says Vampire Assassin. Assassin. What about this made you think you were safe? <laughs> Alright, let's get the board going. I can level up Zulaport and leave up Ghoul Draws. Or just attack with a 5-5 five five I control. <laughs> with a 5-5 five five Ophidian <coughs> Assassin. Listen, yeah. God, Thanks. This format is stupid. Thanks, Ophidian Assassin. <laughs> oh, thank God. Also, we get our Praise Vengeance back next turn. Probably be going on Zulaport Enforcer, because that's the one that's attacking for certain. Because this, like, might activate. Well, I guess we'll see. I don't have to choose right yeah. now. It's true. Here. Snake Assassin. That's him in the middle. He's riding the snake. Yeah, right there. I do appreciate that they have a stylistic consistency among all the different illustrations for the Umbras. Mm -hmm. I was really happy about that. What? Oh yeah, they didn't draw any of their prophetic prisms, <laughs> and that's why they're losing. Ah, uh, none of their, what, five prophetic prisms? <laughs> they haven't drawn half their life. Well, hold, hold on, hold on. We saw four prophetic prisms out of what, like 18 cards? So if we extrapolate, they're playing nine <laughs> copies? <laughs> Just every bomb rare, prophetic prism, and whatever else you and, ended up and, with. And this to stay alive, you know, like... Man, if only we had done that, we could have a cast through time. <laughs> <laughs> we could have like a seven mana do nothing in chat. Mm. 
I love this. I don't know if we're on the level up train exactly. We're on the Gouldraz assassin train. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that helps us pick our target as well. Okay. Guess they're getting their wave watch back because that is the only thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh... So the blood right invoker is getting the yeah that's fine I'm not gonna mm -hmm. don't auto yield to that because it might be useful to to have but the rebound trigger one okay. cast though. cast praise vengeance yes praise vengeance ha <laughs> <laughs> okay um do I attack with gold draws then I think you just chomp I think I don't actually I think I want to use it to kill Halimar wave watch when he tries to go and level it I just use Zulaport Enforcer here. So I guess I can play Prophetic Prism. I mean, let's attack first. Yeah. But yeah, like, I don't want that thing to become an 06. So if he, like, tries to put mana into it, I can just dump it off with Cool Draws Assassin. That, that is the, the bad banner of Prism. Where mm -hmm. we play it. Like, hey. Hey. Hey, dude. So, Prophetic Prism. Cool. Zulafort. Right, number two. And then Gouldra's Assassin is just here to be... You know. You'll never guess what the last card in our hand is. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the last card in my hand. Do you finally have Induced Despair yet? No, you don't. I like how every last creature on our board can be a threat. That's kind of nuts. Ha! I will level up first. I will level up first! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Like... Check out my level. Get on my level. Oh, you, are, you are not on my level. You <laughs> you did not wake up early enough okay, to be on so my level. Okay, so to explain this bug a little bit, the reason why we keep cackling whenever we activate an ability with one of these guys, mm -hmm. even a triggered ability like uh, Annihilator, which happened the other game, mm -hmm. um, every time you activate an ability from a level up creature, it instead says level up every time if you activate the level up ability if you activate their other ability if you trigger some other ability they have it always says level up it is a bug it is baffling and kind of hilarious <laughs> so uh can we win Do no i'm attacking with ghoul draws though five damage is worth it Five damage and draw a card. Ooh, are they bouncing it? Is Ghoul Draws going back to... Induce on Zulaport. Um, Revealing Drana. <laughs> no. What? It said... I, I swear I saw Revealed Drana. <laughs> oh, no, it does say Revealing Drana. Uh, it just doesn't appear in the uh, revealed yeah, cards. Yeah, it's just not in the revealed card zone. Okay, cool. Why did they not kill this? I, I don't know. Okay. So why is it not in the... That zone hasn't been working. Yeah, I don't like that. Right, we're going we're gonna to level up at them and draw a card. Uh, mm -hmm. do I want to play that Nest Invader or do I want the ability to naturalize? I think I might want the ability to naturalize a little more than Nest Invader. Yeah, because they could, like, Drana and Narcolep, even though... Like, yeah. Like, cool. but, but, like, we almost have them dead to just Blood Raid Invoker activations. I don't know how Totem Armor works, but we saw how Totem Armor works in Game 1. Like, we kind of showed off that whole thing. Did they? Like, we, we sacrificed the creature, though. I let it resolve. You did? I, oh. I, I let it resolve maybe because they, I wanted to show to the zoo. that you sacrificed maybe. the creature. I frankly do not believe that this particular opponent is unfamiliar with the format. <laughs> Agreed. This deck does I'm, not feel like a per deck from a player who's unfamiliar. This is not a first deck. Come on. <laughs> that would be crazy. It could be. Who knows? I mean, you get it drawn does. and you just decide, you know what, let's like, go. Then you just see things like, oh, Cadaver Imp is a Gravedigger. Deprive is a Counterspell. Simple. Is this actually playing Drana? So here's the other trick. If he has if he has another copy of Induced Despair to kill off my Gouldra's Assassin, 
Uh, which he doesn't. He's just playing Drana. No, he's playing Dreamstone Hedron. Uh-huh. Okay, and then tapping four mana for... Escaped? No. I've got news. So my opponent's at six, right? Looks like. Mm-hmm. So check this out. We're gonna... Wake up, you. Wake up! <laughs> and, like, that lifelink would actually keep our opponent in the game for a while, you know? Uh, the game yet. has ended. Woo! Yeah, we, so, we, yeah, the next turn we assassinate that thing and then level up our guy to a 3-3 and attack for six. <sighs> we made it out of a of that game. We beat, Man. Oh, we found the only way in our deck to beat Drana. <laughs> Uh, how to how to beat an unreasonable rare, a different Un also unreasonable, unreasonable rare. rare. Yeah. Got it. Done. Uh, this one, the arrow. Oh, we were the last game too. Uh, we won to a misplay. How is the, how is that a misplay? The, the incorrect uh, uh, the incorrect kill with the. <laughs> oh, oh 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 oh. Yep. Yep yep yep. That's definitely a misplay. The um. So the thing there is that if he if the, our opponent chooses not to do that, they take six from fourteen, go to eight. They play Drana, pass. I have to do the Darkalepsy thing to kill my my uh, to to untap my Zulaport Enforcer and then start attacking with the Zulaports. Um, no, I, I'm not gonna do that, Ben. <laughs> And anyway, I'll take literally any win over Adrana, alright? I don't I don't care if it's a misplay. I won't I don't care if it's a you know something like that. That the any any victory over Drana is is a victory to me. Man. <laughs> Ah, the escaped null. I like it. Alright, a wonderful fight, Catfisk. Hello. <laughs> oh no, but they they can see everything that we're doing. You Vegeta. Yikes. That is, this is, like, right on the edge. I know. Prophet we, can, we can guarantee turn two Prophetic Prism. Right. And presumably draw a Swamp in some time to make Pawn of Umog our first play. Which is, like, fine as, as far as first plays go. I don't like having this much top end in the hand, but I like the Prophetic Prism. Sweet. Okay. So we'll get Pawn of Ulamog, hopefully we'll get Wildheart Invoker, and then maybe we'll get, like, Eldrazi Spawn to get up to Ulamog's Crusher. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> the oh, no. Dark Mirror. Uh, I still need to play the Prism, because I need to be able to play that Pawn of Ulamog on three, or else I'm in a bad way. And even if the top card I draw here is Swamp, like, I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's way more important to get pog, Pawn down. The Pog. Pog. The Pog of Ulamog. Although we could play two creatures next turn. The Ulapog. I mean, that's not that then. Yeah, it isn't. No. I'm just gonna play Pog of Ulamog right here. Oh, they played nothing. Never mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the Pog. I'll just add black uh, into my Prophetic Prism to make black. And oh wait. Oh wait. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we can block unless they play literally any card. <laughs> <laughs> literally anything. But here they're going to play the Kozilek something. Oh, oh. I'm, glad, I'm sure glad I didn't take this route. Well, luckily for them, hmm. this, is a, this is a May. <laughs> Do you want to destroy? Would you like to? You can. <laughs> I, I'm completely fine with you hitting yes on that prompt. No you always want to use abilities, right? Spore camp? That 
looks rather incredible here. Yeah. I, I'm amazed. Even if it, like, dies to Balakad Scorpion, like, number two or something like that, I still get a pawn token and then can work with that. I, I get a little pawn. Scorpion v. Spider battle. Ah, fight. <laughs> like, what are those nature videos? Except all the insects are, are gigantic or some nonsense. Right. Wow. Passing, huh? Uh, get a board down? Yeah, it's either wild at heart or multiple little guys. Wild heart would allow us to actually start, like, moving in. At least with this okay. board. But the black eye, okay, he's, a, he's primarily a black deck, right? Yeah. So our black eyes are immunely removable. Pretty much, like Corpse Hatch and Vendetta both say not black. Yeah, they have to have induced despair. Also, right? I... which we saw the other guy had. There, there might not be other induced despair. I'm gonna do it this way because specifically, because like if these like both the more creatures I have, the more pawn gets uh, mm. powered up, and if I can get a Ulmog Trusher down, I'm like oh boy, you know. So is there anything that you want that you would not want to draw out of our deck? I guess Corpse Hatch, that's like the one almost unplayable thing. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Bramble Snap seems A-OK, -okay, contrary wise. Yeah. Bramble Snap V Blood Throne Vampire, Bam. round a million. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we got Scorpion versus Spider, and then we got Bramble Snap versus Blood Throne Vampire. Then there's also all these other, like... Why is my opponent passed on six? Like, what is their hand? I'm scared of that. Like, am I just going to get mm -hmm. Ulmogs crushed out of this? Right, they have th four Ulmogs crushers. Right, in I'm just going to... Or Palaka me. I'm just going to get Palaka. Is it Palaka oh, time? It it's Palaka time. Show me the Palaka worm. Yeah! yeah! I am all about the Palaka worm. By the way, this is a 6-6 six, six on the block. Or a 7-7 seven, seven on the block. It's going to be an 8-8. Eight, eight. So I play Wild Heart Invoker because that gives me seven creatures to tap the Bramble Snap. <laughs> We're just serving into that with Bramble Snap. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think I'm <laughs> serving. Okay. Because serving, I actually trade. Mm -hmm. Like because Bramble Snap doesn't get to. Also, I'd like to note that our opponent has Necropotence as there. That's good. Yeah. Honestly, like serving with Zulaport in a couple turns. Yeah, Bolligan Scorpion is this complete murderer against our deck. I know. Look at, this. <laughs> Look at how many creatures on our board just straight up died. On that. <laughs> it's five creatures on our board that just <laughs> Bolligan Scorpion would just be like, oh, watch out! Just completely like, just keep like, dink, 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 taken out. Just punch one down, punch one down. Okay, so this is a new Mox cr Crusher turn, right? I I know my I know my cards. So Crusher. Oh my God. No. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Oh. We draw, need to draw Corpse Hatch right here, which we didn't. Nope. Oh, I've got this. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm going to kill that Ulmog's Crusher when it comes in. Yeah, I'm going to kill that Ulmog's Crusher when it attacks. Okay. Turning our Zulaport Enforcers into spawn tokens. Yeah, because they give me double taps of uh, Bramble Snap. Yeah. Um, I think I want to level up one of the Zulaports, though. Actually, maybe it's just Null Champion a bunch. Right, if, if that's the one that we're going to keep... Yeah. Well, especially because, like, a 7-power Regenerator actually does a lot here. And I don't need my mana for anything else. 
Also, yeah, what are we sack to the crusher? We're actually not sacking anything to the crusher. Well, okay, to the annihilator ability, we're probably sack sacking our um, Zulaport enforcers, presuming that Wildheart Invoker is going to remain more relevant after yeah. the end of Tec- the thing. Technically, all I have to sacrifice is one Zulaport enforcer and a prophetic prism, and I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the token for eight plus one plus one, which will be a nine nine in block Ulmog's crusher. My opponent could like have a combat trick and own the hell out of me there, but. Maybe that's why I like might throw something else secondary into that. I really don't smell any combat tricks, frankly. Fair. I just... I can't smell it. I mean, the cool thing is Ulmog's Crusher doesn't tell you if there's a combat trick. It just attacks. Right. <laughs> like, it doesn't care. Oh, what was that thing from uh, from the Return to Ravnica... That was like, it attacks each turn of Abel and his pro riot, player riot. Boy was like, what did he have? Was it Riot, riot Piker? Riot, riot Piker. He had Riot Piker. Mm, the Riot Piker. <laughs> what does he have? So uh, our opponent has a good deck. I, I like our opponent's deck. All right. <laughs> Riot Piker would have been insane in Zendikar instead of Return to Ravnica. What, you just put a trusty machete on it? Sure. I'm So do I actually throw anything else in front of the bus? Like, do I smell a combat trick? And if so, what is it? Like, is it worth, like, sacking Wildheart or something like that? And we do get us. We, we get another spawn token out of the deal, which mm-hmm. would guarantee us Ulamog's Crusher. So it's not like we're doing it for actual. Okay, let's do it that way then. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this. So this is going to be Annihilator Two, uh, Sacking Prophetic Prism and Zulaport Enforcer. We get a pawn of Ulamog token, Ulapog. Pog of Ulamon. Uh, yes, I'd like to use that ability. Bramble Snap does the exalted thing. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Yeah, so. If they have a trick, what is it? Might of the Masses, I need plus four power, so Wild Heart would have to block in there. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I kind of have to do it this way if the, if this is what I want to do. So. I'm willing to throw... Especially because it gets me the Ulmog's Crusher next turn. I'm okay with mm-hmm. this. All right, and then... Then we turn our entire team sideways. Right. So this plays around Might of the Masses and Praise Vengeance. That's what I'm playing around here. Um, if he has the Death Touch one, he gets a two for one, but he, he still dies... Um, he could fog, but then nothing happens. He could... Oh, man, Haze Frog. Yeah, Haze Frog. That's how he gets up. us. Like, there's still... I'm playing around the best that I can. If he has Vendetta or something like that, I can't play around this, and there's no point in, you know, vacillating. Uh, let's go ahead and tap it on tap creature. He ordered this, uh this way too Ramble snap ascends to the heavens <laughs> I'm amazed that didn't say level up but then bramble snap is not a level up creature yep this is this 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 is functional I'll take seven from Palaka, but that's okay. I have my own Palaka to heal that back later. This is another one of those things that's, like, way easier to do in real life than <laughs> it is to do on Magic Online. Because here we have all this, like, tense, careful tapping. It's like, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> what if I don't do this right? What if I don't do this right? This is the spirit bomb. Um, people of my deck, grant me your your power. Grant your power to the Bramble Snap. 
you gotta believe. I believe. Is it Vendetta right now? Is it Vendetta right now? See, if it was Vendetta, you would have done that before I pumped eight times, right? You really should, right? <laughs> Although maybe he doesn't care about the life. Just right. Lock up, but I don't I'm... think there's a cost involved in that, though. This is really tense. <laughs> I want this to resolve, and then I want to take my turn. Those are our abilities. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Sweet. Crush her down. Do you have minus one, minus one? Like, can you... What's your follow-up? Another Ulmox Crusher? Another Ulmox Another... Crusher. Pestilence Demon! Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god. Am I dead to that? I'm dead to that. I'm literally uh... dead to that. Five activations, seven, five activations, and seven in the air. One, two, three, four, five, seven in the air, and Sport Camp Spider can't block anymore. Uh, uh, okay, uh, wait. No, 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 no. We have Wildheart Invoker activation. So we could, in theory, make Sport Camp Spider large enough to block. <laughs> Freaking hell. Oh, Lord. So, That's gotta be it, right? Yeah, I can't play the Ulmog Crusher or I'll lose, and I can't play the... So you don't play the way that you lose, you play the way you win. Any attacks that make sense? Um... Anything that's dying to the Pestilence Demon activations probably wants to be an attack. How many Bramble Snap activations do I want to... keep around? God, that no. only works for one theory, turn. No, no, no. In, in theory, we can, like, keep Bramble Snap around for quite some time. Right. Because the creatures are going to die in different orders based on, like, how much damage they take. Yep. Well, here, I'm, I'm, the, the main thing I'm considering is what do we attack with? What do I send with? Can we really send with anything in the Pestilence? I mean, it's just going to, like, block, eat it. Uh, yeah, it's... please, block, eat it. Please do that. Oh, okay. Please block and eat it. <laughs> Good point. I mean, well, on the flip side, what does the, like, extra two damage to our opponent actually do? Possibly find us a way to win the game off of, like, Bramble Snap plus Pond of Ulamog combination. Okay, well, we can't attack with Eldrazi spawn because it's too important for our mana. We can't attack with Bramble Snap, I don't think. I don't think so either, I think... Because that, like, forces us to spend our resources. And... Like, Null Tramp Zulaport, then? I don't that's think... why I said two. Yeah. Everything else is, like, too important. Spore Cap Spider gets to actually live. Yeah. I can't send Wildheart because he could, like, block with Blood Throne and just, like, eat it. And if that's dead, I can't win here. Mm -hmm. And I can't spend Mana to level up Null Champion to regenerating mode. You know, let's just get some damage in. Wouldn't we have to regenerate it, like, three times? Mm, no, damage. It's a 7 3, so damage gets removed from it, you know? Oh, okay. Let's just get in. Seriously, because we're on five black, I'm actually <laughs> dead, so I can't, like... Nice demon, by the way. Yeah. We also have the Palaka Worm. I can't let through, you know, that sort of thing. Bloodthorn Vampire will be dead. That's fine. Battle Against Scorpion will be dead. That's fine. So, like, I have to find this, like, weird way to, like, not get murdered. I'm working on it, okay? Does attacking with Zulport do anything? Yeah, three damage. Uh, the, the the idea here is I want him to, like, block with Pestilence. Zulaport Enforcer's dead regardless. I don't care about it. Like, I, it's a 1-1, one, one and it would run into this, but it's the only other creature I could attack with, and it's dead this turn, so I don't care about it. It's a pretty safe block. Yeah. Because I'm certainly not going to use Wild Heart Invoker here. <laughs> he doesn't know that, though. Okay, so here's the other line he just has. Activate this 12 times. I mean, that's actually a <laughs> loss, but...
but you know, because uh, if this activates six times in a turn, uh, it dies. It kills itself, which is what I want. I want that thing off the damn table. <sighs> Take the free block. Ooh. Okay, so he's throwing away his blood throne because he knows it's dead as well. I love this. This is like some weird... This is some back and forth. Pestilence demon. That's such a powerful card. So... We got our pawn token. Which is good because it gives me more Bramble Snap activations. I think we pass it here. I can't play. Again, I can't play Ulamog Crusher or I lose. I'd love to play Ulamog Crusher here. Holy crap. You know? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I want to. Uh, Palaka gave him the initiative by boosting him to 27. Right. Just get ahead on life and then activate Pestilence Demon until everything is dead. That's a pretty good plan. Ugh. And now we have this awful back and forth of. Activating abilities. Yep, welcome to the stack. <laughs> this is gonna be uh, if if you if you like intriguing piles of abilities being stacked on top of each other and like resolving in arcane manners, this turn might be for you. Okay, Fessalon's Demon deals one damage, so we go ahead and tap. Oh, he just let it resolve. What a nice guy. <laughs> Tap. Float two. Damages. Shit. I mean, we were never going to be able to, like, keep the Eldrazi spawn alive. However, if he activates one more time, that gives us another spawn token from the pawn itself. So I can just pass here. Yeah, even so though I you're going to be, like, draining like my not mana. using the two mana for anything. Yeah, I can, I can drain this. And I, I mean, I'm decently confident that the wild, the, the spore cap spider is the only thing that we could possibly pump and have it mean anything here, but still. Or he might just send with the damn thing. To lock in. Because Bramble Snap gets in the way of that. I can't afford to take the hit or I die. Pestilence Demon. This is such a tense. It's, it's like. <laughs> this is an extremely tense situation. I think our opponent appreciates that as well. They, uh, they definitely have the upper hand in this. Correct, and one hundred percent. It's a. Uh... Again, pestilence demon being a black creature with more than three, you know, like. Sweet. If that's attacking, I catch it in combat, and oh, sweet. Okay, I think that's incorrect. I'm pretty certain that's wrong. 
Ah, I'm and now I am certain it's wrong. So tap Ponavulamog. Yeah. Funnily enough, he actually escapes with if he just doesn't use Pestilence Demon's ability there. You know? Yeah. Because then Pawn wouldn't die. We would not get a um, another spawn to two more spawn tokens, I guess. Yeah. We catch it in combat, but our <laughs> opponent conveniently makes a mistake. Like, yeah. Because the situation is hard to understand. <laughs> no, no, now, here's the other thing. I do need them to use that ability one more time. I need them to trigger Pestilence Demon one more time, or else they can respond to my Wild Heart with three activations and kill Spore Cap. <laughs> Oh God! Like this is I, 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 this is incredibly tense. There's like way too many triggers going on, and I need my opponent to make like slightly incorrect play, like this. Okay. Whew. So okay. At, the, at this point, we <laughs> we are officially okay. All the damage on Bramble Snap is gonna like fold over into us with Trample too. I know, but there's nothing we can do about that. Yep. Now, the funny thing is too, if they wouldn't have let the Eldrazi spawn resolve, and they would have activated one more time to kill the Wild Heart Evoker, that would have been it. It would have been it. They're like. Like, our, our window is gone. <laughs> so, uh, we just mind control our opponent. And, uh... Okay! <laughs> God! You know, pestilences. Who needs them? Yeah. I like that our opponent has played five total cards. Agreed. That, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't care if they play pumps. I'm really happy about how this situation's playing out because this is the exact situation we designed, right? Like, this is literally the situation we designed. I don't care about that activation. Vendetta or something. Nope. <sighs> Pressure. Blocks. <laughs> God. We can still tap over our guys to mm -hmm. save ourselves life. Good thing tapped blockers deal damage in this age of Magic the Gathering. Yep. Okay, so we're taking four, three trample. The problem is our opponent's four cards in hand. <laughs> Shh. I don't care. We, we draw this is a victory. land or Palaka worm. That is we a, are good. That is a, this is a victory to me. This shouldn't have happened. <laughs> I am... So happy about this. Uh, we're live on any card? Okay, that's fine enough. A chump blocker plus an Ulamog's Crusher next turn. Okay, I guess Praise Vengeance would kind of be a bad draw. Yeah. Okay, so they have four cards left in hand. I assume you've still got some spice left, right? Like, that's how this works. Get another battle cruiser. 
Oh my god. <gasps> oh god! Oh crap. <laughs> that doesn't need to be a battle cruiser. That's just a flyer. I can't beat a flyer at the moment. Okay. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter if it's a flyer. If you just put that many bodies on the table, I can't actually, like, block enough here. Like, this, the, the flying no longer matters, uh, I guess, in that sense. Mm -hmm. So, we don't lose this turn. We get the trump block, red drone, and kill the old champion. We yeah. have one turn of blocks. And then we need to top deck Palaka. Right? Like, th that's it. Okay, yep, two in the air. Makes sense. All right. I need to send with the others if they just have us, like, dead. Yeah. Do you believe in last kiss yet, guys? <laughs> I've never said that I didn't. Uh, yeah, well, I, I just didn't I pick a little a... bit of hate for recommending it at one point as a oh, pick. That, see, here's the thing. So. It's, like, still fine removal, especially with, like, things like this around. Mm -hmm. The trick is that I think the other cards in that pack were just better. Yeah, no, I don't regret them. And then now we're dead, okay. Yeah, but I'm not letting them know that. We're crushing. Ulamog's crusher makes the decision for you. Right, we don't make... he's great. We don't get to... Look, I'm calling this a damn victory because of the shit that I <laughs> killed. I don't even care about the loss here. You take victories where you can, and the fact that we, like, just crushed this top end with, like, a bramble snap. Uh, oh, no! Cascat is waiting on us in the finals. Um, I've we'll got see. some bad news for you. This is you game might, one, though. <laughs> you might end up against a different green-black deck. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You'll be fighting us in spirit, if, if nothing else. I'm not yeah. sure it's off Jade. I'm moving along. Okay. <sighs> Spider Umbro? That might be an overreaction. Maybe. This might be another case of us needing to run them down. This poor Cap Spider is just fine because that blocks his little flyer. No need to bring in Naturalize. Nah. Heck, maybe Escape Null is some kind of life game. I feel like it's off shade. See, yeah. Exalfade can, like, actually fight a big guy, though. Well, so can Escape Null. That's six power. Yeah. Is Null Champion better than Zulaport now that they're a black deck? And Zulaport is no longer, like, unblockable. Repay in kind. <laughs> Aha, that's, that's how we beat them. Yeah, that's we not just... happening. <laughs> I'm... We just take damage until we're at one and get one damage in on them. I'm going to walk back so... in with this. Thought about the Spider Umbra. I'm going to pass on it. it, it it's definitely a choice. They're like... The trick was, it wasn't really, like, I don't know, I'm, I don't think it would have really saved us at the end of that last game anyway. Anyway, would you like to play first? Yes. Hmm. Well, Corpse Hatch can kill Palaka and any Eldrazi. Yeah. But probably worth keeping. But. They're on 30, they're on a uh, 41. Bramble Snap's immune to uh, spiders. That's true. Uh, Bala gets scorpion. Yeah yeah, 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 not spiders, scorpions. We have Surprise! Spiders. I'm slightly larger than I look. Unless I just attacked. Right. <laughs> Embarrassingly. That costs four, though, right? Yeah. Okay. So we know when we can freely attack or not. And this is not a moment. Electric Vampire. Null Champion. Give me a give me a creature. 
th thanks. I, I again, mean, the, the deck listens to you. I accept. Okay, we're holding back. Don't want to offer the trade. Nah. Considering he needed to go to like, land, level up, attack you for four. Get a capable scorp seven for once isn't like a... <laughs> isn't a plan I can get behind, sorry. That's... <laughs> Please level that up and then, like, I just trade. Yeah, I'll take this trade. Oh, okay. If you're gonna offer, like, your full turn to me, I'm not gonna not take it. Well, we're gonna be offering our full turn back by not drawing anything. I'm aware of that. But they won't know because their hand could be full of instants. So, you know, what do you know? I could be very powerful. Yeah. <laughs> my power is immense. Oh my god, they're <laughs> us. They're literally us. <laughs> the 41 card mirror. Oh! Holy shit. Oh! This is a bum, very bum, good bum. time. Here comes a new daredevil. Yeah! <laughs> Oh boy! Are you ready? Yeah! Five mana two twos, yeah! Mm hmm. Yeah, they might helpfully play a non black creature here. Although we didn't see any other than Ulamog's Crusher, so. Yeah. Be nice. They can't. This shouldn't be killable, right? <laughs> ah, they could last. Dread, dread drone. Is this dread drone? In the most barest technical sense, that would make non-black creatures. Yeah. Yep. Hey, bud. Kind of figured that was coming. It is the play that made sense on that turn. Yep, we're taking that. No, I'm not trading my most valuable Seven. card. Oh, man. This is harsh, because if we kill one of their creatures, we just give them Crusher. Right. Do I well, wanna, okay. Do I, wanna, I think I want to Awakening Zone a level once here. Uh, the last Red Runner we saw was not Foil, so we know they have another. Mm -hmm. this is, this, yeah, this is new information. Yeah, don't don't ever try to corpse hatch an Eldrazi spawn. That's hell. We might assassinate one. It's sort of like killing a land. Uh... Just to cut them off a little bit. Cut them off of eight mana. I think so. I mean, I realize we take a beating for this, but. I am not a huge fan of this, but I don't think we have a really better play. Yeah. Well, well I want them to... Oh, man, they can't even play Polanka off this. I'm not doing that again next turn when this is a 4-4. That's Great. At least I'll have Trump Blockers for Dread Drone on the next turn, you know. Uh, Assassinate Drone is a really good way to get my ass kicked by Ramp. That's why I didn't do it. <laughs> right. It's it's the present threat versus the future threat. Yeah. And... I do not think that's a waste, because this prevents him from playing Pestilence Demon, the card we can't beat. <laughs> Literally, the card we cannot beat. And I'm willing to take some damage, some lumps for that for the moment. Yeah, playing Crusher next turn sounds like a reasonable play. Especially since we can't play Palaka if we draw it. <laughs> yeah. Surprise, surprise. I like how there's there's nothing in this set that straightforwardly interacts with other stuff. What? Oh or God. I saw the future. 
<laughs> wow. Anyway, that card's dead as hell, right? Like, <laughs> what if I could see through time? Huh. So I can play Crusher. God. Or we could corpse hatch the brood ward. Corpse hatch the thing. And then we still have Praise Vengeance up. If we do that. Five, six, seven. But, um, yeah. Is that worth corpse hatching? I can just assassinate it too, you know? Well, I was thinking like hold up the, uh, the instant speed assassination. Yeah, I can hold that up on Brood Warden. Like, I don't need and the Corpse the, Hatch. Okay. Like, basically, okay. I, w I want to save yeah, this for the Eldrazi's. That's that's fair. We can just level this guy up. Because this is my... Hell, maybe that's... Story. Right, maybe that's the play. We just... Let him play his stupid Eldrazi and get Pogs and whatever. Assassinating the Pawn seems like a really good way to take lethal damage next turn. I'm aware I can't corpse hatch anything else, but the entire point is that he's the, our opponent's deck showed Palaka Worm and and the uh, Ulmog's Ulmog's Crusher. Crusher in the previous games, which I can't deal with with the things on board, and I can just literally kill this for free at at any point. I'm passing the turn here. The amusing part is if he serves with the spawn, we can like <laughs> kill brood war. This is also a trick on board, so I don't yeah. know why you do that. Yeah, I'm not. Really, I want to get Ulmok's Crusher down very quickly here. Azun should help with that. Get yep. a little spare mana so that we can hold up things like Praise Vengeance in our. Assassin activation. Okay. This is weird because now he has enough mana, so like it doesn't matter if we give him extra spawn. Like Ghoul draws assassin, kill the Rude Warden, and then like Either trump, trump this or praise vengeance trumpet. Yeah. Level up. Ah, we'll level up at him. Yep, he gets spawned right a little more token. Uh oh. Rizella is minding her P's and Q's. Ah. Ha! I'm slightly larger. Okay, so again, Pestilence Demon is very hard for us to answer. Uh, we don't have a good way of, you know, doing anything about it. But I can kill anything that's not Pestilence Demon. Round two, game two. We're, on, we're down on game. This is... Where we are playing around smoke because they actually are holding <laughs> up. The ramp deck. I mean, that is the ramp deck, right? Sometimes you just draw ten lands. Right. I mean, heck, even like um, Uz Kozilex Predator would be decent. Yeah. Just leave a bunch of spawn behind. <laughs> Our vampire assassin can't keep up. This, this smells like Pestilence Demon to me. Oh, shit. It's a card we can't... It's literally the only one we can't answer. Goddamn. Yes. Want to draw a land here.
serve with Gouldraz and hope he hopes he he makes a gigantic mistake. <laughs> I think the mistake we have to hope for is him actually activating Pestilence Demon in any way, because if it takes two damage, it dies. I mean, frankly, it doesn't need to. It also just flies. Yeah, but it's only attacking me for three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be using Gold. There's that. I'm going to be using Gold Draws Assassin pretty heftily there. <sighs> yes, yeah, so we gotta. We gotta bring it down to our level. Phew. Ah, then the combination with Last Kiss. It's perfect. <laughs> I wish I had one of those, Kiss. Yeah, I know. It's, you, I'm not, I'm not tr criticizing your pick. <laughs> Hate on me for smack-talking Last Kiss, will ya? I'm just going to play a Noodle Logs Crusher here. Spore Cap Spider would be the hero we need there. Serve with the Predator? Yeah, I think so. We need to get damage on our opponent to make it so we can't just, like, Pestilence Team us, us out. Okay, obvious block. The problem is he can just kill us with Pestilence Demon activations. Like, if we get low enough, he can just activate Pestilence Demon, like four times or six times and we die which is what is going to happen next turn like we don't have a lot of time left need Palaka Worm so bad huh? yeah Palaka Worm off the top please your only hope could we ever draw that first pick that we cont that we wanted Okay. Oh, no. no. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Don't even get to annihilate him. We, we need it. Can you... Right here. Come on, Palaka. One, one time, Palaka Worm. Here for us. Ooh, that's a loss. He's got the activations to kill us, you know. Um, how do we play around that? We never drew it. The hero we needed, but not the one we deserved. It's true. I mean, we are literally just losing to us. Your opponent has shown that he doesn't know how to work the demon, at least. Yeah, he might just, like, <laughs> accidentally do two damage instead of three when he goes for the lethal shot. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's possible. Right? Holding up priority is hard. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Losing in a much more stylish manner. Oh my god, I love it. Night haze. <laughs> oh my god. Literally gonna lose to the night haze. That rules. Yep. 
I I don't think I've ever seen that card like played. That's way too much. Uh, that, that's a lot more than one, uh, buddy. Which is the only amount of mana you need right now is one. Hey, you found it. <sighs> Dead to night haze. Uh, Last kiss is creature only. No, uh, no block insight. Nope. Man, I'm talking about the night haze. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess watch out for that one. Cast yeah, it. if you have an answer to um, Pestilence Demon, yeah. <laughs> then <laughs> you should. Eat Ooh, that I'm I'm very happy about all of this. This ruled. Other than, like, the fact that, you know, Palaka Worm was nowhere to God, be seen. my head is spinning from that game one. I'm so happy about that. Like, Spore Cap Spider was the hero we, we... Was the hero, you know? Crazy. It was it was beautiful. And <laughs> no bit in the curse is uh, not lifted. <laughs> I didn't get to cast the Palaka Worm. However... We had a cast off. Four overgrown battle wins plus Emma Cruel. That's a. Uh, I think you should be fine. Anyway, I think that, that that's all for tonight. Though we we got our, our 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 we got our games in. We got some really good like. Look, to me, it's all about that game one and round two. That was. That's that's what I remember from the format. Frankly, <laughs> like the the game one. Okay, there are these. There are these moments of craziness available, like what happened in round mm -hmm. two game. For me, it was the one time where I had um, Hellcarver Demon and cast three Eldrazi off of it. And that was uh, that was that was my little moment. I think that's really a, a special format. I have to find that moment. That was such a good. Yeah, I I, I don't know. This is just such a unique format. Nothing else plays like it, you know. That's, yeah. that's really what it is to me. Is nothing, nothing else is Rise. Whereas, like, there are you a lot of you will do things in Rise of the Eldrazi that you never thought about in Magic: The Gathering. Mm -hmm. Like all the all the removal spells are junk, except for like Flame Slash and maybe Heat Ray. But everything else is this janky. Like, why would you play this? This is weird. I can't make this work. And even some <laughs> of the good ones are like, wow, this is completely inadequate for dealing with. This kind of creature that I'm that I'm up against. I think my, they all have these conditions on them. It's like, yeah, nothing is just straight up blabo. I think my favorite thing is how the format, like right now in in in, in like current formats, we kind of have like it's like janky removal, not the great. Like compared to Zendikar removal, like we just w were in Zendikar and had like hideous and journey to nowhere, burst lightning, all this crazy removal. Rise is specifically designed to have, like, this very niche removal that doesn't work on the bigger thing. Like, it, it, the, the removal's not as great on purpose. And because it's purposeful, it, it you know, and has meaning, it makes it a lot more interesting. I, I linked uh, a special moment in Rise in the, in the zoo for those who are interested. Anyway, that, that, that's all for tonight, though. Um... I don't think we. I don't think there's anything else I want to do for now. So, thank okay. you, thank you, Kaz, for joining. This was I again. <laughs> my my head is still spinning. So I, I'll, yeah, I'll try and disentangle myself from what has gone on. Yep, and thank you, everybody Crazy. in the zoo. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I guess we'll. There will be some more. Let, of, uh, let us know how it goes, Cas Cat. Best <laughs> yeah. of luck. Yeah, best of luck. <laughs> He's our dark beer. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>